We are at Port Canaveral, standing right in front of the Disney Wish. And we're about to embark on the Disney Wish for a Halloween on the High Seas Cruise, a four-night cruise. We're heading to Nassau, to Castaway Key. We have one day at sea. We're here with our daughters, Lindsay and Alyssa. They're 13 and 15. We are so excited to be on the Disney Wish for the first time. This is our fifth Disney cruise. We are just excited to get on board the Wish. Let's get started. Well, it's fun to be back at Port Canaveral. We're here looking at the model of Disney Magic, waiting for a boarding group to be called. Right now they're calling it one through nine and we're boarding group 10. Any moment, we're gonna get in line to get on the wish. All right, we are about to get on the Disney wish. Oh my goodness. family. It's like the star. Oh, it's the wishing star. Wow. So pretty. It's a very different looking uh, tree. The tree has a, like a legit face. It looks like, I don't know if that's what it is, but that looks like Mother Willow, there you go. And the girls are getting a Cinderella wand. What do you make all your wishes come true? Oh, good. There's Cinderella slipper. That does not look comfortable. No, it, and it looks much bigger than it probably was. We just rewatched the original movie, and it was like smaller than the Duke's hand. So it was like about like this size. It's like the size of my thumb. Yeah. And it looks like Flynn and Rapunzel are up there waving all the guests. And here is the Cinderella statue with uh, Lucifer. Lucifer, yep. And who's hiding under Cinderella's dress? Well, why are you trying to look under her dress, Dad? The mice are under there. They're hiding from uh, Lucifer. You're sus. We are climbing the grand staircase in the grand hall. I think we're gonna be first looking for lunch. I know at some point there'll be a mustard drill as well. Uh, this is our second cruise doing the old school mustard drill. Not nearly as quick and efficient as it used to be, but we're excited, we're on the wish. Classic Lindsay's taking the elevators. I hope her PE teacher's not watching this. But we are taking the stairs, right, Carrie? Yes, that's right. And we lost Alyssa. We lost Alyssa. Wait, what are you doing? Are you trying to slow her down? Wow, Alyssa. You know you're about to get to deck 11 when you see this sign in the aft stairwell, Marceline Market. Ah, uh, Lindsay's. See, she's very pleased with herself. Three minutes ago, you had to take for breakfast. I needed to take the stairs. So what do you think so far? Difference between this and Cabanas? I like giving cafe-esque. It's giving cafe-esque vibes. No, not vibes, just ca it's just giving cafe-esque. Oh, okay. Is that how the kids say nowadays? Gen Z. <laughs> we got sliced roast beef, the carving station, we got pasta. Ooh, they got- That pasta actually looks- That, that green stuff, I think it's pesto. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've heard uh, some people talk about the charcuterie board. Carrie wants to see what they have and then come back again in line. I guess that makes sense. I got some plant-based options here, chicken tikka masala. Looks like they have some other things here. It's more like a kimchi bowl you can make. They got pot stickers, fried pork, roti, roti, bok choy, lots of different options. We're at the kids counter with all your classics, including the famed chicken tenders. Tell me you guys have some honey mustard. Awesome. The only thing that would make this charcuterie board better is having some, um, like balsamic glaze drizzled over the cheese, the meat, all this stuff. And they may have had some over there. I may have just missed it, but we have Paula brunch on this cruise. I can't wait to get it there. Lindsay just gave her garnish to Alyssa. Thank you, Saw. I'm so kind. It's but look what Alyssa gave me. She got you the little sliver of uh, claw meat. She took over my crab cracking because I wasn't. Thank you, Alyssa. You guys are just being so generous today. All right, Lindsay got some dessert. She got the celebration cake. It looks like a little cupcake. It tastes like a cupcake, and it's not bad. I got it. Kind of mid. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Is that the I think I'm gonna go get some dessert.
Uh, this is the strawberry pot de creme. It's like a, I think it's some kind of a custard, maybe? And this is a pecan nut tart. And then here we got the chocolate mousse with a dark chocolate garnish. Mmm, that's really good. You should get one, Alyssa. Do you want this one? <laughs> We've had that on, I think, every very Disney quality. ship. Very rich. This pot de creme, though. Yes. So very, good. Very, very good. Chris is sharing with me. He's yep. nice. It's, it's delicious. It's like creme brulee without the brulee, but mm. it's tasty with those kind of tart strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa's finishing up her lunch. She is, like, loading up on crab. And Lindsay had a great idea while we wait for her. She reminded us that we need to get set up in the Navigator app. All right, so first thing you gotta do is connect to the Wi-Fi, then you enter your information in, and then it connects you all together to everyone in your stateroom for the chat feature. And then we can start seeing what our first restaurant is, which none of us know where we're eating at tonight. So who's gonna be the first to find out? Me. Probably Lindsay. Whoa, what's the same one over? Lindsay found out first. Where are we going tonight? Uh, the Arendelle one. So Arendelle, the restaurant. And Alyssa's finishing up her dessert, like a boss. <laughs> that was the exact tone I implied. Carrie just uh, texted all of us in the app. Hey fam. I just wanted to start a group chat and annoy Lindsay. Apparently that annoys Lindsay. But as Lindsay pointed out, we're eating at Arendelle tonight. Sees the adventure as well. So just like at Disneyland or Disney World, I guess, when you go into the park, there's people who go left, there's people who go right. I think it's just like that for lunch on a Disney cruise ship. Some people always go to the buffet, whether it be Cabana's or Marceline Market. Other people go to the sit down lunch. And we're kind of either or. We usually do the sit down lunch if it's really wet and raining outside. Wasn't today, it's a beautiful day here in Port Canaveral. So we enjoyed our lunch here at Marceline Market. Now we're hoping our stateroom is open. They said it should be ready at 1.30. It's 1.50. Let's get to our room, show that to you guys, and then we're going to explore the ship. Before we head to the room, though, the girls wanted to check out Joyful Sweets, which is this sweet shop on the Wish. And look at that ice cream. Hi, family. Hi. How are you doing? Candy corn gelato. Oh, they have three special gelatos for Halloween. For Halloween on the High Seas Cruise, they have chocolate and orange. Oh, yeah. That sounds so good. And then they also have a candy corn gelato and a monster mash gelato. What's the monster mash flavor? Red velvet chocolate and pistachio. Ooh, that sounds good too. Orange vanilla for the candy corn and orange chocolate. That sounds so good. This one, because this one has a vanilla frosting inside and Nutella. Ooh, Nutella and vanilla frosting inside the ghost shortbread cookie. This is uh, one of the special for Halloween, which is white chocolate. Is there caramel inside of it? Or? No, sorry. Oh, just, just chocolate. Got it. Yes. And then what's the chocolate spheres? So chocolate sphere is a white um, chocolate outside Ooh. and it's a halloween. Oh. Kids really love it because when they break it, they're going to see different kinds of cookies. Oh, how fun. fun. Yeah. Cool. And this Oreo, as you can see, it's a, a big Oreo because it has two Oreos inside oh. and filled with dulce de leche. Oh my Dulce de leche, yeah. yeah. So they got a Hocus Pocus cupcake for Halloween and it's a uh, yeah, pumpkin with vanilla frosting, but the vanilla frosting is purple, which is probably going to make your mouth colorful. This looks so good. Yeah, and the marshmallow sticks are not like the ones in the park. She said it's just marshmallows dipped in chocolate. There's no caramel inside of it. Like the, I think the Tigger Tail or whatever they call it in the parks, uh, at least in Disneyland, they also have macarons, passion fruit macaron. Oh yeah. I love passion fruit. That sounds delicious. Oh my gosh, this all looks so good. Thank you. All right, here you got the lookout, which is a bar on the pool deck. Minnie's ice cream. This is the soft serve spot. Sweet Minnie's ice cream. Let's get some. Alyssa, you just had dessert though. I don't care. They have four soft serve machines here. Thank you. See you tomorrow or later today. Tastes like chocolate vanilla. Yeah, but it tastes like exactly like the soft serve they have at my school, except it's free. You have soft serve at your school? No better way to start your Disney cruise them with a cone of sauce serve. Mickey's Smokestack Barbecue. I bet it's better than Bucky's. Um, probably, I'd imagine. Their brisket was really good. We're definitely gonna be eating lunch here a few times, I think. Our room this time is on the 11th deck. Our room is almost right outside Festival of Foods. It's gonna be hard not to eat there a lot. And it's also right outside soft serve. Ugh, can't wait to see our rooms. Alyssa found it. Try with your with your watch. Yeah. Oh, that works. I don't have to carry my room key everywhere. That's awesome. It's so good in here. We are in room 11542. Oh, I have the drink. Oh my gosh. Yay. Oh my gosh. I got what did we get? The champagne glasses are 
so cute. We got the um, pretty drink. Oh, we got Cloud and Blue for you guys. Thank you. you did? Yep. What? Cloud and Blue, if you guys have never had that before, it's like a sparkling cider. Oh, that was satisfying oh, yeah. Christopher Sorry. Miller, have a magical Disney cruise. Aw. Thank you, Christopher Miller. Oh, you're welcome, Caroline Miller. So we're out here on our veranda where I plan to spend a lot of time. Um, who's rolling up in the uh, black Escalades? Those are for some special people. Oh! Wait, actually? No. We are in Florida. She lives near Florida. No, she goes in. I'm curious to see who's in there. Apparently, there were some investors that were visiting the Wish. Oh, those are the, those are plaids. Oh, they're plaids. Oh, so it's going to be someone super famous. Whoever it is, we hope they have an amazing cruise. I'm manifesting that it's Taylor Swift. Of course you are. So we got our Key to the World cards. Interesting because it has 25th uh, anniversary Key to the World cards, which this is not a silver anniversary at sea sailing, but maybe they just had a lot of extra of these and they're trying to get rid of them. All right, so we got our Castaway Club gifts, which these are silver Castaway Club lanyards with our Key to the World cards on them. We got a, looks like a beach bag. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's the silver uh, Castaway Club gift. I think the gold one, which this is our fifth sailing, but we're not gold yet. We'll be gold as soon as the sailing ends. So our next Disney cruise, we will also get, I think it's like a dry bag, like a wet dry bag. Alyssa, having fun? Mm hmm She likes crawling into weird spaces. All right, again, we are in room 11542, and it's a deluxe family veranda, which means it has an extra pull-down bed that you can see right back there. Uh, it's like a Murphy bed. Uh, which we had our, on our last cruise on the Magic. The price wasn't that much more on this cruise for it, so we decided to spring for it, and Alyssa has grown to love it. We've also told her don't expect it on every cruise because it is a little bit more uh, than the regular standard uh, veranda. Let's start with the bathroom. And these bathrooms I've heard are much nicer than the standard bathrooms on the other four Disney cruise ships. You can see the H2O Plus sea salt hand soap. Looks like they've covered up the H2O Plus logo with the Disney Cruise Line. We'll see if these kind of toiletry products stick around and maybe Disney just will keep making them. I don't know. But right now, it looks like they still have them. Really nice, uh, simple layout for the bathroom. Hello, Alyssa. We have the next part of the bathroom, which is the shower uh, bathroom. And this one looks so nice. Same uh, style of the mirror with the lighting, but this is amazing. Looks like it has a glass door for the shower. A lot more spacious, really nice. You can see it also has the H2O products there, again with the Disney Cruise Line uh, sticker over it. But man, these look so nice compared to the other Disney ships bathrooms. All right, next we got the, oh, I love how it lights up automatically when you open the door. And you got two robes that come with your room on the Wish here but it has a little bit of room up here with the life jackets, but you can hang your stuff here on this part of the closet. It's the first section of the closet. The second section, this is where all of your luggage, all your clothes and everything uh, get, get stored for the time you're on the ship. It also has a safe. And the third section here has more room to hang things, maybe some more shoes down there and more life jackets, of course. You got some shelves here that you can just put stuff on uh, if you want quick access to it as you are leaving the room. Welcome aboard, valued guest. I guess uh, for some reason our name didn't show up there. But the girls are enjoying themselves on our bed. This uh, room, 11542, comes with the Little Mermaid theme. All the different staterooms have different themes for different princesses. And we got another one of Ariel and Flounder over there. You can see the couch here where Lindsay will be. Right above that is this pull down bed, which we are not gonna use this time. Alyssa is gonna use the Murphy bed. And you can see this uh, area here, it's the vanity. Uh, you have a lot of drawers here. And this is the drink cooler. A lot of space here for really nothing. It's just area to walk around this bed when it folds down. The nice thing about having the family veranda with this uh, Murphy bed is it comes with extra storage space. So I think our girls are gonna really enjoy having that. And this is the veranda. Feels like it's a little deeper. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it's a little bit deeper than the other ships. But I love those chairs, love that table. Really nice to have. So I just got back from going out for a couple minutes and I think this location is gonna be amazing. Cause just like when we walked in before you walk out and that whole area of food, barbecue, cantina, pizza, everything is so close. There's also a drink station. And soft serve. Oh yeah, soft serve's right there. Um, there's a drink station right there. There's a bathroom right there. Sometimes it's nice to have a second bathroom close by when there's four people in this room. So I feel like this is gonna be a great location. I'm excited. The girls are excited to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa's already 
wrapped up in the wish blanket. Oh, we got two of our suitcases here. Well, I got mine and Lindsay's got hers, so we're set, Lindsay. Mom and Alyssa, let's hope. Fat L. Fat L. I think they're spying on us because this just changed to Hello Miller family. Or <laughs> welcome aboard Miller family instead of valued guest. They figured out who we are. All right, so I'm at the vanity area and I did forget to show a few quick things. I love how they have the phone here instead of right there oh, because cool. it used to be right there on a different shelf it made this area hard to use like to charge like devices and phones and watches and all that kind of stuff and i also love that they have two usb ports and a usb c port that's gonna be super handy on the other side of the bed however they have a european plug and they have two usb ports so just keep that in mind if you come out on the wish but that's how they have the ports set up and i also like here how they have the light switches labeled yeah. Where they have, you can turn these on and turn them off. In the bathroom, they have labels like that too. And one of them says night light and the other one says like daytime or something. That's nice. It used to be they were outside and you never knew if you were turning on the light in here to wake everyone <laughs> up or the, or the bathroom. So and that's happened that. a few times. Yes. And they also have more USB plugs, another USB-C, a couple outlets and a European plug here. So just to give you a heads up, they have plenty of USB ports, which is really nice. I actually didn't bring a USB port charger block to for all of our devices because we didn't need to they have plenty of them here also very similar to the fantasy and the dream they have one of these areas where if you have this card in here it will let everything be powered on they actually put this card in here you don't have to worry about that i guess nice i was wondering if we were going to get something like this we have a stateroom credit from our travel agent so that is always nice well a very good afternoon disney witch we are heading back out to the pool deck deck 11 and we found the secret passage that lets us out there it's right a... down from our hall. Dang it. I guess it's not. Should we try it? Yeah, no. let's try it. No. Open it, Lens. <laughs> no. <laughs> we heard from someone that this uh, this does go right out to deck 11, but it's an emergency exit, so we'll have to go the way we came in. Bummer. I was hoping we had like a special door just to like get in and out right out of our room. We're honestly, we're so close to the pool deck. We are. Let me just show them. Um, Alyssa, 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 thank you. No! Side eye. So one of the things we're gonna be doing right now as we explore, we are going to be hiding some of our ducks. We got small keychain ducks and we got the, also the cute little sweater hat ducks with sunglasses. Oh my gosh. So the girls found the painting of the Disney Wish and this is not the first time I'm seeing this. I saw this at D23. They're not impressed. You are so special. I know, right? Oh, there's the tower suite. It's cool, they have the, the doors decorated. That's slick. Right now, we are headed to this spot right there. We're gonna try to take the uh, slide down to the Oceaneers Club. And we just walked up and we see the Bayou Lounge. This place is decked out really cool. You got a magnolia tree, flowers everywhere. It's really pretty there. Yeah. The best. So you come out right there and you got the magic hand washers right here. That was a lot of fun. It was a really fun way to come down into Oceaneers Club. It's really fun when you get off that slide, you wash your hands and you're in the kids club. It's a brilliant way to uh, make this experience a lot of fun for kids and for parents too. All right, first up after the slide is Walt Disney Imagineering Lab. They have just areas here, probably for crafts, drawings, other things you could do. You have the ride studio over there. Let's see what they do here. So Alyssa tapped it with her watch, with her uh, Disney band. And oh, you choose the ride path. All right, so we are in the Pixar themed bathroom area. There's no one else in here except us. But Alyssa was just in here and she said it's super tiny. Let's check out Joy's bathroom. Very, very tiny. <laughs> Look how big that is. That's my hand right next to it. Oh my goodness. But they have bigger size bathrooms over there. All right, let's go check out the Marvel area. Because yep. yep. we also need to get to the Vibe and Edge open house before they're over. All right, so we just kind of fast forwarded through uh, the rest of the Oceaneers lab. 
we showed you guys the Imagineering lab, uh, but what we didn't walk you through too much because we really wanted to check out Edge and Vibe was the Marvel Superhero Academy and Star Wars Cargo Bay. They weren't as big as I thought they would be. It was still really fun. A lot of kids in there having fun practicing their superhero skills on a video game. You could design your own superhero outfit and have it projected on a figure. So just some really cool, fun things to do for kids. So we are headed to Edge, but we're passing a Keg and Compass right here. That's uh, one of the lounges for adults. We want to, Karen and I are going to check that out at some point. We also happened upon Luna. We're excited to check this place out, but it's interesting being up here. It feels like you're in a theater up here. Not as engaging as being down there. We'll see how we like the vibe in here. If we like to probably sit down there instead of being up here, but maybe up here you're a little bit more and not as much of the action and some people like that. Well, my friends, let us know what you find, okay? Did Flynn just call you guys ruffians? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get an idea like Spot that. on. <laughs> Quite an impression y'all are making. All right, according to that sign, Edge is this way. We're on deck five, and yep, here we are. This is fun. It's like light and... I know, that's what I was gonna forget. You got a schedule right there. You got some Halloween characters up there, at least Jack. And you got a giant screen right here. That's huge. Definitely heavy into the video games here. Gaming systems all along here. You got another giant screen here with some game tables. More video games here. Man, they got a lot of stuff set up here. This is really nice. Alyssa's getting set up there with her uh, Edge piece on her Magic Band or Disney Band Plus. And this is another area for games. They must have about seven or eight of these game areas set up for kids to come and just play. And they got a Switch in here. I've seen Xboxes and Playstations. They have it all. So we decided to head back to our stateroom just before the musker drill. We got about a half an hour, so we're gonna unpack, use that time the best we can, and Carrie is getting water. I'm gonna get the same because I am thirsty. And I love that this drink station is really close to our stateroom. How's everyone doing today? Mustard drill is done. That was a can of sardines. Finishing our unpacking process and we're about to head up. Actually, we're on the pool deck. That's the great thing about being in deck 11 is we're already here. The blue sparkling cider we got for our family. We're gonna open it, put in some champagne flutes. We got two more on one of the deck bars. And so we have four of those. We're gonna fill them up, bring them out there as we do the sail wave party. All right, Carrie is like the pro at this. You say that, and now I'm going to mess it up. Well, you used to work at a bar a long time ago. I did, I bartended, I waited tables, I did all kinds of stuff in restaurants. So, here we go. You can do this, Mom. Thank you, Lindsay. You're so We believe in you, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. That's exactly how it's supposed to go. Oh, it didn't that pop. It wasn't like an epic, dramatic moment, though. But look at how pretty it is. I do love how, like, it sparkles. It's called Cloud and Blue, and it looks like a cloud. It wow. smells like Jolly Rancher. Really? Uh -huh, I forgot Like that. a blue raspberry? Yeah, it smells like the blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. Ooh, look how pretty it oh is. Oh boy. Cheers. Ooh, that is good. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. It's fizzier than I remember. It's so yummy. Glass clink. Ooh. Oh, wow. Plas plastic clink. <laughs> <laughs> we highly recommend getting some Cloud and Blue. Very Everyone cool. in the family can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So choice. And we already have. Yeah. No one says yeah. that. It's from Ferris, Ferris Bueller, Bueller does. Does. Oh yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Alright, <laughs> Cloud and Blue has been devoured. Now we're gonna head to the sail wave party where we're just gonna have fun singing, dancing, and just enjoying the moment as we start vacation officially. Well, Carrie got the drinks of the day. What is it? I don't remember. It looks good. Oh yeah, it's good. It looks really good. <laughs> Sailway party is over and we're at Vibe. We're gonna check the girls in. We're gonna sign a waiver for Alyssa 
to see if she can go to Vibe and be a part of it. Alyssa is 13, and 14 to 17 is the age of Vibe. As long as they have room and a parent is willing to sign a waiver, you can have your 13-year-old be a part of Vibe. How does uh, this Vibe, do you think, compare to the one in the Fantasy? I like the Fantasy one better, but this one's a lot better than the Wonder. Because the Wonder and the Magic, I think, are the same one. In, in my opinion, the Fantasy so far is the best one. And it was like a lot more spacious, I guess. Hopefully you guys get to come here and meet some friends and get to know some people. But it's a short cruise too, so we'll see how it goes. We are pulling away from Port Canaveral. Goodbye, Florida. Hello, Bahamas. Your hair looks great. <laughs> we, are, we are right at the front of the ship, and I believe that's the concierge sun deck. We have an even better spot, because we can see a little bit above them. <laughs> at least that's what I'm telling myself. Carrie and I were hanging out on deck four. She decided to go meet the girls in our room. I decided to go to the store to get some Halloween merch, and there was a long line. Got the merch. Now I'm trying to make it to the show, and it's 6.35. Harry and Lindsay and Alyssa are there, saving me a seat, which I feel horrible for being late. But the line in Mickey's main cell was so crazy. That's something to keep in mind. If you want to go to the store when it opens, plan to get there early. On the other ships, I never saw a line like that before. It was long, like 50 people long before I got in line. So be aware of that, though that's a thing. At least it's a thing on embarkation day. <laughs> we did ahead? it! No filming! <laughs> Thanks! Yep, got it. Heading in, turning the camera off. We just got out of Seize the Adventure. It's a review show. It was a lot of fun. The ending was really cool. Found the girls. They were on the side balcony. We didn't have the best view of the stage, but it was really fun to be that close. I want to show you guys the popcorn bucket Alyssa got. That is an incredibly awesome popcorn bucket. That's a popcorn bucket? Oh my goodness. It can't fit that much popcorn in it, but it's mostly for looks, honestly. It honestly is going to make a great decoration. We have a ton of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, so that's going to look cool. It also um, lights up. Oh. You can't see it too much. If you I look love at it. it. He's lit it up. Came outside, and this is what we get to see from the balcony of our stateroom. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. No longer see Florida. This is the best part of cruising, you guys. It's just like seeing nothing but ocean. We enjoyed the sunset for a few minutes, hoping to get back out deck four, deck five to enjoy it a little more before dinner. We ran into a potential issue with our port adventure we have planned tomorrow and Paulo brunch. So we're gonna go to the port adventures desk and try to clear up any confusion uh, that might be there and we may have to choose one or the other, which would be a big bummer. We went to the port adventure desk, then we went up to Paulo and I think we have it figured out. Not sure if it'll work out perfectly, but we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, basically we have Paulo for tomorrow canceled and they have us on a priority wait list for at sea day. Hopefully we'll get Paulo and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I guess the tour operator uh, has the ability to change the time of the tour. We never got notified. Yeah, so it's such a good thing that he looked or else we would have yeah, missed it. Yeah, so not sure why that happened, but it did. So just be aware of that if you have a port adventure, booked always check the navigator app when you get on board to make sure everything is according to schedule that you originally booked it at yeah that happens sometimes i guess so good for us to know that and i hope that helps you as you guys plan your cruises so right now we're on deck four and normally one of our favorite things at least my favorite thing and i think chris likes i like too. it i like yeah. to do it with you we walk around deck four like many 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 times and i just i love it so much but the thing that people say about the witch is you cannot walk all the way around which is a bummer you can't yeah yeah but earlier we were out here and then he had to go do some other things and i just kept walking it's actually kind of cool because you can go from deck four to deck five and then deck five to deck six and it's like a u shape and it's a pretty cool walk even though it's not a loop so that's what we're gonna do now yeah embracing the differences yeah well, we need to be at Arendelle in about 15 minutes, so we thought we would just take a look at some of the bars and just see what they look like. So right now we're at the Bayou, which is like a Tiana New Orleans themed bar. Looks pretty cool, live band. Well, right now it's just instruments, but probably later live band. Now we're headed to Hyperspace Lounge.
This is cool. You can see a big giant screen somewhere in space. Uh, we don't, I don't know where we're at. Maybe that's Coruscant, but yeah, it's really cool to see all this. I thought it was going to be an elevator, but it was just a door into hyperspace lounge. Yeah, I love how it makes a, like a whoosh sound. Yeah. That's really cool. And that was right across from Bayou. And I think now we're going to try to find Nightingales, which, oh, here it is. It seems like everything is really pretty close together. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. And this is themed after Cinderella. Sweet, sweet Nightingale or Sing Sweet Nightingale. I don't know. We just watched that movie, though. This is nice. Fancy. Carrie got the Malbec, which is a red wine. I got the Stepmother, which is like a Manhattan, but served in a really unique glass with this giant smoke bubble. Cheers. <laughs> we classy. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. It's really good. Is that how you're supposed to drink it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you've watched our channel for any amount of time, we're not high-end eaters or dining people, but we love trying new things. So that was fun, but don't do it like I did it, because it totally made me cough. I gotta take a few more sips so I don't spill any more of this, because it is really good. I'm really glad I got this. It's got a really good flavor to it. You gotta take a few more steps and then we'll head off to dinner. Now we are heading in to Arendelle. All this stuff for us is a first. None of these restaurants we've ever been to and we've never had these menus. Hey there, Joan. All right, we are at Arendelle. The girls beat us here. And we got our bread service here. Carrie and I got our drinks. The great thing is, a uh, gentleman uh, server offered to carry our drinks in for us on a platter, That's which very was nice. very, very nice. It looks like they've got a pretty good menu. I think we know what we're gonna order, and we will let you guys know in, I guess, just a moment once our food comes. Lindsay got a Shirley Temple, of course. Yep. And Alyssa got the uh, non-alcoholic drink of the day. Really good. What is it? It's um, I forgot one of ours. I know it has mango in it. Yeah. But it's a slushy drink. Frozen, blended drink. So it's, really good. it's called the Princess Delight, which is mango puree, hog juice, and raspberry syrup. Wow, that does sound really good. That was, that was very dainty. Alyssa got the baked scallops. Gotta dig into it. Oh, this is deflated. What should we do first? Lindsay got it too. Oh, okay. Oh, so glad you put on the mask tonight. Cold never brought the beer. Anna and Kristoff must be in a hurry. How was the uh, scallops, Alyssa? Oh, hi. Yeah. I think Kristoff bleached his hair. It, it, it looks like it. How's your uh, tomato and cheese tart? No, it's not tomato. It's um, oh. ham and Jarlsberg. Oh, yeah. It's more. It's a little like a quiche, and it has a little chopped tomato um, apples on the side. It's really good. I got the Swedish charcuterie plate. That's what I'll call it. And I got the same uh, Jarlsberg and ham tart that Carrie got right there. And then I got the big scallops as well. Oh, He's favorite. Oh, don't you all just feel warm and fuzzy when you think about summer? Ooh, family! Which the first thing that comes to mind when you think of summer? All together! Snowman! Snowman? Yep. Summer and snowmen seem to go together like a huge fish. I don't know about that. Well, for now, Bye. enjoy the engagement party! Next, after that first round of appetizers, Carrie and I both got Troll Valley Baby Field Greens. 
It says it has vanilla apricots, brioche croutons, candied walnuts, and lingonberry dressing. That sounds really good. I'm just really excited to try this. And by the way, all of the appetizers were good. What did you think about the scallops? I have never really had scallops before, but I wanted to try something new. I didn't love them. They were... I don't usually like fishy stuff. Like, I like shrimp. I don't usually like fish or, like, even crab, though. It wasn't too fishy, but the texture was, like, squishy. It was weird. I don't know. It wasn't my favorite, so... Yeah, it was more fun to eat than it was tasty to eat. Really cool. The Swedish charcuterie board uh, was actually pretty good. If you like smoked salmon, you would like that. And that uh, Jarlsberg and ham tart was actually really good too. I don't like ham or salmon. I I'm very picky. Yep, you are. So, <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> What'd she say to you? How is everything tonight? Oh, she's checking up on us. Watch out, this whole place is about to turn frozen. No, that's not what she said. <laughs> that deserves a, the, an eye roll and a head shake, Lindsay. Here's my eye roll. <laughs> yeah, I roll with a little sass. Alyssa wants all the garnishes all of the time. <laughs> I'm here, Trevor. So dinner was delicious. Chris and I both loved the, um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was basically Swedish meatballs. With like egg noodles and lingonberry compote? Yeah, it was delicious. The sauce was so good. It's like this creamy, I think, tarragon sauce. We all also got the ribeye, which was also delicious. It, it seemed more like a roast beef than a ribeye. Now we have a plethora of desserts to try, and it's exciting. I think we ordered all the desserts but the sugar-free one, which is normal for us. This is the butter cake. <laughs> Lindsay, how was the, the roast beef, ribeye, whatever that was? I like it more than the um, meatballs, but... Elsa just made snow appear everywhere. We missed it. But I, I love the ribeye, and I also really love Potatoes. Lindsay and I decide to keep eating desserts, and Alyssa and Carrie are in that mix of people somewhere. Apparently, at the end of dinner, they have a little parade, which is really fun. So we just finished dessert. We'll tell you about that in a second, but we just finished like this crazy napkin waving moment. That was probably the most fun I've seen servers have in a long time. Yeah, it reminded me of the Tiana's place. Yeah. That was really fun too. Yeah. But this was like, some of them were going. They were having a little too much fun. It was great. It was awesome. The apple cake was really good. I like the like caramel sauce with it. Oh, they were all good. I love this chocolate bar. It was really good. It had different like versions of raspberry. It had like a meringue a raspberry jelly and raspberries on it. It was really, really tasty. Very rich, like Lindsay said, but I love rich dark chocolate. The pancakes, it's like a little mini Swedish pancake rolled up with some kind of like a sweet cream cheese. And then there's lingonberry sauce all around it. That was really good. I had the apple with the ice cream, the apple tart with the ice cream. That was really good too. The butter cake was kind of meh. It was, it was good, just didn't have much uh, to it. And obviously any ice cream sundae is usually really, really good too. We're back in our stateroom, but after dinner, Carrie and I went to the Grand Hall to watch the pumpkin tree lighting. Mm -hmm. And we did this on The Wonder last October. It had a little bit of a fun kind of spooky vibe to it. This one, it was fun, but it was definitely more like little kiddish fairy tale. Yeah. Focused on the wish, at least. It was fun. It was just definitely focused more on kids and princesses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which makes sense because that is the theme of the ship. That's right. So uh, we came back to the stateroom and our girls decided to watch Maleficent in our bed. <laughs> and they're laying down in our bed, which is part of the problem of having the TV where it is because yeah. it's facing in front of uh, the queen bed that's in the room. 
instead of like in between both like living areas where you're like the kids areas and the adults areas. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't love that. Eh, I get it. We had a really fun day. We are really tired. I feel like embarkation day takes a lot out of us. Yeah, <laughs> but we had such a good time. We really love the ship. It's so beautiful. There's so many things to see and do and so much fun, so much good food. Yep. Um, we had amazing service with dinner. Our servers are excellent. Joseph and... Lucy? Lucy. Just Excellent, excellent service, yeah. which is, you know, what you expect with Disney. We've mm -hmm. had a couple of times that it didn't happen and we we're like, oh, maybe it doesn't always happen. This time, again, we can already tell they are fantastic. We're so happy. They're super friendly and really good. We just had a great day. Yeah, we did. Tomorrow is going to be Halloween. Uh, we'll also be at NASA. We have an excursion. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, and... we had Paula Brunch booked, but we talked about that earlier. Hopefully we'll get that rebooked for our day at sea. Yeah, but I think tomorrow's going to be a really fun day. Yeah. I'm looking forward to dressing up for Halloween, doing trick-or-treating, showing you guys all the Halloween on the high seas fun stuff they have around the ship. We want to thank you so much for coming along with us today. If you haven't already, we would love it if you subscribe. We have lots more fun videos coming out. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we have a video. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. Thanks again for coming along with us today and we will see you again soon. Love you guys. Good night from the Disney Wish. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.